to show you how you can use MRP in Dynamics 365 Business Central to create transfer orders. I'm going to show you a couple setups that you need to have done. The first is that you need to have stock keeping unit cards set up for your items that you want to use for the transfer. I'm going to set up item stock keeping unit cards for a particular item and then we'll take a look at the transfer to location information and the transfer from location information and then we'll run a planning worksheet to create the transfer orders and we'll post the transfer orders. So I'm going to use this item in my demonstration. This is a purchase item and what I did is I set up stock keeping units for this particular item. Let's go there. And stock keeping units allow you to keep separate information for a particular item by location. So for example, I've set up stock keeping units for this particular item in both my blue location and my main location. So let's look at the blue location first. This is the location I'm going to use to purchase the goods from the manufacturer. If I scroll down here, you can see that this is a purchase replenishment. I've used this reorder policy at maximum quantity. Let's take a look at the other stock keeping unit. This is the main stock keeping unit. This is going to be the location that is going to draw from the blue location to get the items that it needs. Let's look at the replenishment here. The replenishment system here is transfer as opposed to purchase. I've also identified the transfer from code as blue, which is the blue item location. And here as well, I've used the maximum quantity reorder policy. So this is my planning worksheet. I'm going to regenerate the plan. These are the parameters here. I'm just going to use it for this one item. You can see that it generated two line items here. These are both for the same item in the same location. If I scroll over to the right here, I can see that the order type is transfer as opposed to purchase. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select both of these and then carry out the action messages. You can see here it's going to make a transfer order. Hit OK. Let's take a look at the transfer orders. Here's the one that we just created. You can see it's for this item here. It's going to transfer the quantities from the blue location to the main location. So all I need to do here is post this. I'm going to ship it first. I'll go back and receive it. And that's the whole process. I set up item stock keeping unit information for a particular item in two locations. We looked at the transfer to location and transfer from location, looked at the replenishment methods, ran the planning worksheet, and then created the transfer order and posted the transfer orders. Thank you.